So I wanted to start off by saying this is my first, you know, I guess, common use video. And I stumbled upon this advertisement yesterday and was disgusted and felt like I needed to share it. And I don't know. Am I the only one that are getting these stupid fucking ads? Please let me know. Let me, let me share the first little clip for you. It really works for me. And I found it works for any guy. No matter how old, fat, ugly, or anything else you are. Now at first, I thought that I was just getting this because I always joke with my wife that, you know, I'm fat or I'm getting ugly. And this is the reason I'm getting this. But at no point in my conversation do these things go this way. So let's continue a little bit further and see where this goes. Not only that, but when I use this trick that I'm going to share with you, my insecurities completely vanished. Because women started chasing me. Alrighty, so we're already into it. We're using tricks to get women to chase us. Want to evaluate on that a little bit more? Let, let's let him dig his own grave. What's even more amazing is that this trick even works on girls who've ghosted you. Girls who told you, let's just be friends. This guy is a creep. I mean, if a woman's ghost to you, chances are there's good reason for it. Especially with your creepy voice talking to us. But... Continue on with your creep, creepy 34 advertisement, 34 minute advertisement. And there's zero chance of rejection because it's entirely subconscious. So she doesn't even know you're doing it. And maybe best of all is that this trick works every time. Yeah. I like how this guy keeps using words like trick and subconscious. You, you know, you're subconsciously tricking these women into chasing you or sleeping with you. And it doesn't sound too good when you put it all together, but when you separate it and put some words in between it with flashy text, it's not so bad. But continue to dig your own grave, guy. Yes, every time. And listen, since you were lucky enough to find this presentation before it gets forced off the internet, in a few moments I'm going to show you video proof of this almost unfair technique being used on a banging hot girl for free. Well, holy shit, boys. You got him to say it. He even said that it's almost unfair. Dude, it is not okay for anybody of any gender, whatever walk of life, to manipulate, trick, or use somebody's subconscious to gain what they want. That is a terrible act, you stupid human being. So you can start using it too. Yet, first, I have to warn you. This is a trick that women sure as hell don't want you to know. Which is why a few small groups of them are trying to have my presentation banned. Like this social justice loser who had the nerve to say this about this controversial seduction trick. You're being banned because you're a terrible person. The content you're putting out is awful. Manipulation, tricks, all that BS, not okay. And God forbid anybody actually does this bullshit. Like really? You're gonna promote... Taking advantage of other people so you can get rich quick? Come on, homie. Who's the real piece of shit in this? In today's progressive society, it's a step back to give men this much power. What she's really saying is no man has the right to turn a woman on with this trick. And personally, I think that's nonsense. Women turn us on uncontrollably just by being hot. Bro, men aren't animals. We have our own thoughts. That is not true. Come on, because you're a sexual deviant doesn't mean the rest of us are, you fucking piece of crap. And I've come to realize, after years and years of hopeless failures with women, that if you can't get a woman to chase you, you're not gonna get laid. Best of all, when she chases you, you know she wants it. That last comment right there had to be the most... bad thing that you could say at all. You know, towards the, uh, erp, you know, incidents that you have all across the country. So, if anything, you're the one who needs to give her consent. It's pretty awesome when you can turn the tables like this. Which is exactly why I refuse to let women like that feminist ruin my fun. So, listen, I don't care who this presentation upsets. For the next few minutes, I'm gonna spit in the face of all the woke beta males. Bro, you're not spitting in the faces of males. You're spitting in the face of progressive society. And becoming better as a whole and equal. I mean, at what point do you think manipulating anybody for your own gain or own personal satisfaction is the right way to go for society? I mean, 
Come the fuck on. Quit kidding yourself. And the men should feel bad for being men SJWs who've taken over the mainstream media. These are the people holding you back from the woman you want. Trust me, your natural desires are not wrong. Turns out if your natural impression or your natural urges are to scam or manipulate people, it turns out you should feel bad. You should feel like a piece of crap. Women have them too. And wow, is it fun when you unleash them. The secret I'm about to reveal was discovered by a controversial doctor in Singapore. And the reason that some people are so pissed about it is that it uses a brand new and kind of strange psychological discovery to take over a woman's animal brain. All I have to say is how does YouTube allow this? How, how does it promote, you know, me watching good, wholesome, wholesome videos on the interweb for this dude to come out of left field with a 34 minute advertisement wanting me to invest and watch his stuff to give him money to teach me how to manipulate and take over control of a woman's a caveman brain? Are you serious? You, you can't be joking right now. The same part of the human brain that makes her lust for a man and get uncontrollably turned on. Because her animal brain is her raw emotional cavewoman brain. Now, I'm sure this guy is just saying all this BS to be edgy and all that, but still, how is this an advertisement on YouTube? In fact, when you tap into these deep and previously unknown female desires with this one easy trick, you'll sit back, relax, and watch as that girl you want chases you right into your bedroom. So, some of the we're fine without men feminists are now trying to claim that this trick is deceptive, manipulative, and can have serious effects on a woman's decision-making abilities. And of course, these are the same women who have been trying to keep men down for the last 20 years. But you know what I want to say to that? Makeup is manipulative. Fake boobs are deceptive. And when a woman shoved them in my face after I used the technique on her, it had serious effects on my decision-making abilities. So, listen. If you're a perv, or you're gonna use this to cheat on a girl, or you wanna hurt women, then please, don't keep watching right now. But if you're a good guy, who just wants an advantage over every other guy who's hitting up the hotties, then I'm willing to share this trick with you. I first learned about it after meeting my mentor, Dr. David T. He's a skinny little science geek who lives